The shooting death of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin in Sanford, Florida. Anna Werner is there this morning. And Anna, er earlier we had an exclusive interview with the attorney who's advising the admitted shooter, Neighborhood Watch volunteer George Zimmerman. I asked him about Zimmerman's claim of self-defense. What I will tell you is I believe that there's sufficient evidence to show that uh, Mr. Zimmerman was acting in, in self-defense. There he has uh, wounds, uh, injuries to his face, to the back of his head. Anna, my question to you is how do you believe this defense is going to play in Sanford, Florida? Well, I'm sure it depends, as you know, on the individual, Rebecca, but I think it's helpful to look at the context here. You know, the city manager was quoted as saying the other day that tensions, racial tensions between the black community and the Sanford Police Department here go back 10 years. Also, the head of the Seminole County NAACP said that there was very little trust or confidence from the black community when you talk about the police department. And there have been other incidents, too, that people have questioned in the police department's handling of other cases that involve family members of officers. So when you look at that context, it seems as if the questions are not going to go away soon here about uh, racial motivations and racial tensions still do exist here. Absolutely, and it will continue to stay in the national spotlight as well. Anna Werner from Sanford, Florida. Thank you, Anna. We appreciate it.